From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a major week as earnings month wraps up. And we'll look at the latest details. More corporate earnings came in overnight. And then the big news for your benefit raise why. Major details coming out of England, which is a symbiotic relationship with the United States. Their inflationary rate may go out of control later this year. We'll go over the latest details across the board and what you need to know. Plus, we'll be looking at whether inflation has peaked or not peaked in this economy. And the data from that housing market that came in last week, that was just not good. We'll go over the latest details that impact your money as well. Plus, a major story that's brewing today is, of course, the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve will be meeting with the uh, with a luncheon later this week. It's not an actual conference, a luncheon. It's called the Jackson Hole Conference. And we'll be going over the latest details of what they are likely to say with inflation and why the market is watching this Jackson Hole Conference later this week like a big, confusing pair of lobster shorts. <laughs> we'll go over the latest details across the board and what you need to know. And this, my friends, is why you have to get a Ford Simmons check in every U.S. state. Ten categories of Ford Simmons checks are now law. Seven that became law a week ago, and three that became law in the month of March. And we go over those incredible checks for you in today's recordings. It's more than $100,000. And again, it's ten categories of checks. You'll meet the new success stories and there are a lot, two that came in just in the last 24 hours from this channel. I'm so excited. We'll be looking at the big week that is heating up and what you need to know. And we'll be going over the latest details of what is expected in the next 24 hours. New corporate earnings are coming in and more. It's a big week across the board. But of course, we'll be covering later this recording those seven new stimulus checks, those lifetime stimulus checks, those $100,000 of four stimulus checks, everything you need to know. It's a big broadcast for an August 22nd, 2022. And we'll look at the LA Late 2 and LA 3 launch that happened overnight. Boy, some excitement. It's your economy. It's your recession. It's your inflation. It's your benefit raise. It's your housing market. It's your unemployment, and it's your forced stimulus. It's your Afternoons LA, and it starts right now. And good afternoon, everybody. Lifetime stimulus is coming to you, but a major report out of England signals that inflation could be tracking astronomically there. What does it mean for you and your benefits here? It's good news. We'll go over the latest details across the board in today's recording. Did you become a member? Make sure you become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Casino VIP. Three channels now a part of this broadcast family, and we'll be going over the latest details of LA2 and LA3. In this broadcast, we're going to go over those incredible checks laid in this recording, stay at the very end. And we're going to start, of course, with the major developing details coming out of the United States minutes ago. A lot of major details heating up the markets this morning. How are you? Hope you have a beautiful week and excited for you across the board. It's August 22nd, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. And if you missed it overnight, the launch of LA2 and LA3. Wow, that was exciting. They are now part of the broadcasting family. That is LA. Three channels and three live streams at some times on this on this family. You got it all covered, except uh, Bacon is still missing. <clears throat> How are you? In the breaking news to starting today, is the corporate earnings. We're going to go over that in a second, but I really want to start with that major story because of all the magnitudes of stories, you know, a lot of people saying the Jackson Hole conference from Jay Powell this week is the major story. Not for me. I'm really fascinated by this UK inflation story. It came out minutes ago. UK, the British, uh, the British Commonwealth, is likely to have 18% inflation. 
18% inflation by January. And this is out of a Citibank uh, report from Economist minutes ago obtained by Allied News. Now, you don't live in England. You don't buy anything English. Well, you know, <laughs> unless it's that delicious English bacon. But this inflation impacts you because, guess what? England is a symbiotic relationship with the United States. 18% inflation. How do we survive with 2% inflation by December, according to Jay Powell, is his target across the board. How do we get to 2% inflation in the United States if England is heading to 18% inflation by January this year, next year? The research note obtained by Allied News says by Citibank that England is going to have the consumer price index number of 18%. And the retail sales number of 21% by January. Our CPI release August 10th last week for the month of July was an 8.5%. Remember that. That's what the Seniors League said. Well, by looking at that, your benefit's going to go up 10%. Now, imagine if inflation does track higher and not lower, then your benefits are going up a lot. We'll go over the latest details of that in just a second. This is a major story, and this is breaking news across the board. The Treasury yields is par, and par for course. The bond traders, you know, really get it right. And I usually am uh, apples of apples with them on their guidance. They're training up the 10-year Treasury note today to 2.99.6% because they believe that yields are going higher. And also the 30-year Treasury bond is surging out of control, surging dramatically today. And this is advance of Fed Watch 2022. This Friday, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jay Powell will be test be speaking at the Jackson Hole Conference. This is the story that is heating up Wall Street dramatically today because this is the first time you've had Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, that raises your interest rates, speaking anywhere since that July FOMC meeting. They don't meet in the month of August. They don't come back until September. So this conference from Jay Powell on Friday is very dramatic. Jay Powell will be speaking at that Jackson Hole conference on Friday. All the breaking news when he tests, when he speaks. What is he going to say, in my opinion? Jay Powell is going to repeat what they've said, certainly in those FOMC minutes released on Friday from the month of July. And certainly what Boulard Daily and also uh, Daily have been saying. Target inflation is 2%. We'll continue to raise interest rates till we get to our target inflation 2%. We believe we can do it because unemployment is low, and we may likely have the same interest rate spikes as the prior meetings. I think that's what he's basically saying. And why? Because that's what Boulard, Daly, and Bowman have said in the recent days across the board. We'll be coming to that later in this recording. Let's also jump over to those earnings. 93% of corporations have reported second quarter earnings across the board. But we have a few new companies guiding downward, and that guidance downward will continue even though we're coming out of earnings season. What are the downward guidances today, and what do you need to know? It's been a very tumultuous month. And if you missed last week, let me tell you what happened last week. Retail sales came in. Target really missed badly. They had downward guided for the month of May. Then in June, they downward guided. And then they downward guided in July. And they reported last week, and they missed. They missed after three downward guidances. Walmart relatively came in strong, beating. BJ's was a discount wholesaler. Beat Tapestry, which owns Coach and Kate Spade, a lot of great brands there. They beat. But S.A. Lauder, the makeup brand, missed dramatically. So it's a missed bag. You know, some kind oh, Coles. Coles missed dramatically on Thursday. So it's a mixed bag. What's happening right today for August 22nd? Cigna Health is surging 38% right this moment. Wow. Why? Because there's a bidding war underway between Amazon and United Health to buy it. Bed Bath and Beyond is down 11%. Another day, another down. Bed Bath and Beyond stock is beyond. <laughs> it's beyond. I need to go take a bath. Uh, it's taking a bath again today. <laughs> it's down 10.2%. As Ryan Cohen has announced, he's uh, selling off those major shares. AMC, which of course has been the talk of social media, is down 31%. That gives them to something to talk about today. Uh, that is after the debut of a so-called equity unit called the Ape. Did you miss what happened on Friday? Did you miss what happened on Friday? Kevin Spacey was hit with a massive uh, judgment in that UK case, uh, United States case, and he's facing a criminal case in, in England. But the other major judgment that came in last week was 
Ford Motor Company. Ford Motor Company got hit with a $1.7 billion judgment, and that is why its stock is down 3%. Other major stocks making moves today is Tesla, down 2%, and also X Oxidown Pro Petroleum. Warren Buffett says he's going to be buying a major share of that company. Let's jump over to your benefits. Now with that news that came out of England, this is really fascinating. That Citibank report signaling that inflation could track to 18% later this year is big news for your benefits. Because why? If inflation is tracking that high there, how are we going to track lower? Why would inflation go higher there and go lower here? Let me tell you why. They're betting on or they're projecting on the impact of natural energy like natural gas there tracking inflation higher i don't think of that in a vault in a vacuum i really don't i think that inflation could go to higher and i don't think that england could go higher and we could go to two percent let's go over the details for your benefits starting right now your benefits are going to go up a lot ssi ssdi social security and railroad benefits because inflation is so high even right now for august 22nd that CPI print released last week showed it at 8.5%. And let's go over first the narrative. The narrative is your benefits are going up the largest of a lifetime. Yes, this is lifetime stimulus. Yes, this is the biggest lift of your benefits. So how much are they going to go up? Why are they going up? And then ultimately, could they go even higher? Let's go over first how why they're going up. They're going up because in core components of inflation have not peaked. The headline inflation has peaked. A month ago, we had the PPI, the CPI, and the retail sales beat. That was when the June data was released on July 13th, July 14th, and July 15th. Well, what happened since then? Or in fact, what happened at the same time? What happened at the same time was that in core numbers continue to track higher left and right. And those core numbers were that CPI, that CPI for the month of May, was a whopping 8.6%. That's really high. That's really high. Then what happened in the month of June after that May print of 8.6 in the month, uh, 8.6 for the CPI? In the month of June, we went even higher. How high did we go? Let's look at the numbers right now. Again, May was an 8.6% print. June's inflation tracked even higher, 9.1%. Then the July number was released last week, August 10th. And what did that number release to us? The CPI for the month of July released August 10th was 8.5. So it came down a little bit, but that's what we call the headline number. When you look at the component parts of that inflationary print last week, they went higher month to month. So while the title number, the summary number, the, the, the top number, the CPI of 8.5, went down a half a percentage point, the component parts went higher. They are rent higher, salaries higher, milk and eggs, consumer goods in the supermarket higher. So why did the headline number go, go lower if all those component parts went higher? Gasoline. Gasoline went down dramatically on the month of July. That's why the headline numbers go went uh, higher, even though the component numbers otherwise went. Uh, that's why the headline number went lower, even though the component numbers went higher. So, what does this mean for your benefits? Your benefits are going up a lot. Why? This number is really still very, very high. 8.5% means, at least with that number, your benefits going up the largest of a generation. We call this lifetime stimulus on this channel. Why? Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Let's use an example. Let's say that ultimately your benefits go up 8.5% this year. That's not 8.5% this year. It's lifetime because once your benefits go up, they never go down. If inflation next year is 2%, that means you'll get 8.5% plus 2% lifetime. That's great news. All right, let's go now into the calculation. Will inflation still come in higher or hot or about the same? Well, back in the month of May, when we saw this number really high, 8.6%, they said, we said, hey, your benefits are going up a lot. Then we understood that we have to have benefits, we have to have that inflation stay about the same or higher in the month of July, August, and September. Well, what happened? That headline number last week was about the same. So we have two more months of data. 
Why is this happening? Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment, C-O-L-A. But it's determined by one number over three months. The CPI-W for the month of July, released last week, August 10th, the CPI for August released on September 10th, and the CPI for the month of September released on October 10th. We need to see basically the CPI about the same or a little bit higher, and if that's the case, your benefits are going up a lot. All right, now let's get into the core of the number. This is what viewers have been doing so well on this channel. You've been asking this, and you've been analyzing this as well. Are salaries still going up month to month? They are. Do you believe they're going to go up for the next two months? I believe they will. Rent, yes. Uh, food and milk and eggs, yes. Consumer staples, yes. Gasoline, likely flat or higher. A lot of the oil traders believe the gasoline goes higher in the fall weeks because refineries go offline. Hurricanes or tornadoes, more demand across the board. People back in school driving more. And if you've seen the price of gasoline, the international brand crude, it's tracked higher in the membership newsletter the last few days. It's gone from 92 to now 98. That was quick. So with that... You don't have to potentially live out the next two months of CPI numbers to understand how much your benefit's going up. You can see in the supermarket. You see at the gas station. You can see it in the salary. You can see in the rent. Ultimately, you can gauge this as well. What do we actually have of hardcore data? We'll have the, the housing data in the second half of this recording. We'll have the, uh, the personal consumption expenditure index released in just a few days from now. And, of course, we'll have the next CPI print. Now, let's go over into your benefits how much your benefits going up and what do we need to understand for those benefits your benefits are definitely going up the largest lift of a generation it's just the question of how much are they going to go up it's looking really good and those benefits are you ssi ssdi social security and rail benefits yes three months of data yes they're going up the largest lift of a generation Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. Some of you 5,000, some of you are less. It's all incredible great news. You don't have to do anything. This is lifetime stimulus. And this, my friends, is why you want to become a member. Boy, just so much going on. How are you? This is why you want to become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, and Calcino VIP. And one of the great benefits of becoming a member is those L8 worksheets. Those allied worksheets are delivered to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, in the newsletter. And those worksheets are huge. And let's go over what we know about those worksheets today and what you need to know about your fourth stimulus. Well, those worksheets delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, are in about the third or fourth line of the newsletter. Go down the newsletter around the third or fourth line, and there it is, that incredible PDF. You can print it out for yourself, and here it is. What do we know about what to put into that worksheets today? First, page one, inflation. Inflation is tracking higher, at least in the UK. Citibank today, minutes ago, saying runaway inflation, 18, 90% by January. Do you believe that our inflation is going to go to 2% by December if England is going to 18% straight up? I'll have you drop your comments in the live chat right now, and I'll read them tomorrow on air. Recession. A recession is underway, especially of housing, and the economy is in recession. But one of the Biden uh, chief economists was on broadcast news yesterday and say it's technically a recession, but it's not a recession in all the parts of the economy. And he pointed to all the great data. You know, I don't like that. I don't like when someone just reads half the story. He read half of the data that's great and ignored half of the data that's poor. Yeah, there's some parts of the economy that are doing really well. There's other parts of the economy that are not doing well. You don't tell half of the story when you get a uh, haircut. <laughs> just cut half of the hair. And I'll just talk about how good that half looks. <laughs> Who does that? Uh, well, yeah, I know she's speaking. But uh, anyway, um, <laughs> labor, let's jump over the labor market. Those jobless claims released last week track lower. Yeah, 250, 250. First week down, but it's nothing to celebrate. This is the first week down for labor jobless claims from this, since the month of April. It's the second highest number of jobless claims of 2022. And the Federal Reserve. I've been saying for now over a week that the Federal Reserve will have a 75 basis point increase in September and then 75 in October, November, and December. I'm the only broadcaster saying that, and everyone and their sister and brother was trying to tell you 50 basis point in September, and that's the final interest rate spike, and there'll be a pivot thereafter. 
it's just not true. Uh, the Federal Reserve governors have actually indicated it's not good and not true. And the Jay Powell will be speaking on Friday. And what are people trying to hear? They're trying to hear him saying one interest rate spike and that's it. He's not going to say that. He's trying to get a 2% inflation. He has a long way to go to, from 8.5%. The next page of the worksheet is the big success story. I had one viewer, um, boy, what was her name? Was it Barbara or was it Michelle? I can't remember her name, but she was in the LA live chat last night, quite late, and she got her... Uh, she got her uh, UT, she got her weatherizing approved, and she got a lot of money. So she got check A. This incredible sh uh, page, too, is a place to keep track of all the stimulus you're applying for. There are now 10 stimulus checks in every U.S. state, but it's not 10 checks. It's actually 10 categories of checks. Check A is weatherizing. That's really one check, but I'm going to go over that a second in the big second half because that's actually now manifesting itself as lots of checks in check A. Check B is uh, your uh, is wonderful checks, and it's 80 to 100 checks. That's a lot of checks on so just check B. We'll go over that in just a second. Check C is 80 to 100 checks. And then those great checks launched by Congress no less than a week ago are seven new categories of checks. So you see this second page, you're going to have to prep multiple copies of the second page because the second page has really only about 20 lines. And now you're going to be applying for a lot more than 20 checks. You're going to be applying for 10 categories of checks and upwards of almost 200 individual checks. The success stories the last week, another viewer got 14 months of rent. Another viewer got 14 months of rent. That's a second viewer. It sounds like I said that twice. No, it's two different people got 14 months of rent. A, th a third viewer got 12 months of utilities. Spelly the week before got check A, the weatherizing, and got check C. And then that wonderful viewer out of Florida, she got incredible 12 uh, she got incredible 14 months of mortgage assistance. She had filled out this page for check B and she forgot that she filled it out under the state of Florida contact her said, ma'am, you've been approved for check B. It was incredible. She got approved for check B, but not for just for a month. She got approved for 18 months of her mortgage assistance, but it gets better than that. She applied for not just her mortgage, but also utilities. So that's about five checks per month, five checks times 18 months, folks, that is 80 to 100 checks. It's incredible. That's why you want to become a member of this channel. The next page is that fifth stimulus. The fifth stimulus raise. Well, guess what? The Seniors League said that, based upon that CPI print of two weeks ago, 8.5%, your benefits will go up 10.1%. I think it's higher. I think it's really higher. I think that's very conservative. Jump in the live chat if you think that's conservative as well. Then gasoline. Gasoline is tracking higher. Why? Because they're full capacity. They're full capacity. And the demand is diminishing. The demand is diminishing. What does that mean? Less demand, more production. Yeah, the price is going to go uh, left and right. And then finally, student loan debt forgiveness. The president's not going to do that student loan debt forgiveness before August 31st, which is days away. Indications are he's going to roll it over to the midterm elections. We'll have more about that tonight on Evening's Light. Wow, incredible great news. Now, why is it that there are so many success stories on this channel? Because now there's so many checks. There are really so many checks on this channel. 10 categories of checks and upwards of 100 to 200 for stimulus checks. And why is this happening? Because it's starting in the month of March. And let's look at those incredible four stimulus checks starting right now. Those incredible four stimulus checks became a law in the month of March. And viewers have been getting them ever since. And what do you need to know about those incredible four stimulus checks? Well, they're huge. And let's go over all the details of them starting right now. First, they are huge. It's about $100,000 of four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Passed by executive action from Joseph Biden, it's a lot of money. It's about $100,000, and you qualify. Single individual, $75,000, let's go get it. Married couple, $150,000, let's go get it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or rail benefits, go get it. 
It's federal stimulus. It's passed by the federal government. It's not paid by your state. Go get it. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible sums of money. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. How do you get it? You go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Count Sino VIP. Become a member. Get that incredible newsletter. Go down that newsletter and get now these 10 categories of checks. Apply for nearly upwards of 200 incredible checks. Incredible. Incredible. We're going to go over all of that in the big second half. Plus, in the big second half, we'll go over why the latest details on this money is getting better. Lifetime stimulus, new stimulus checks. Boy, you're doing so well. I'm so excited for you. Plus, a personal message for you to me in the big second half. We're just getting started. It's a big day. Your economy, your inflation, your benefit raises, your housing market, your unemployment, and your forced stimulus. Everything you need to know, it's coming up on the big second half from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a big day, and stay with me. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with the latest details on your big money. It's a big August 22nd for 2022. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in a big second half of August 22nd, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful day. You know, I wish too soon the weather cooled down on Friday, and then by Sunday, it came back blistering hot again. Oh, my goodness. But ultimately, also coming in hot is your four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Hope you're having a beautiful day. It's just a great day here for you. And the later in this recording, stay with me because I go over my commentary and my look back on the exciting news you saw happening yesterday in this family. All right, let's get to those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Back in the month of March, the president passed a series of executive actions, which became the first three checks. Then, two weeks ago, Congress passed seven new categories of checks. So now there's ten categories of checks. It's incredible great news. How do you get them? You become a member. How do you apply for them? You go down in the membership newsletter, delivered from me to you, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. Let's go over the first three checks right now. I give them a lettering system, check A, check B, and check C. These incredible checks are astronomically wonderful. And you become a member when you get that incredible newsletter. You go through them, and we're going to do them right together as a family right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. How do you get it? Step one, become a member. Go right in this video and join the channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Go down the news newsletter till you find it. Check A. There it is. Click the link and go right in and apply. But you're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. It is fifteen dollars to $80,000. A forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Check A is that wonderful check that Spelly got 
And check B is that wonderful check the you out of Florida got, 80 to 100 checks. How do you get check B? The same way as check A. You become a member, go run to this video, join the channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Para Casino VIP. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down the newsletter, you find check B, and go click the link and apply. Look at that. Look how well we've done. We've done check A, 12,000. Check B, that's 80,000. That's 100,000 right there. We're not done there yet. We're going to go get check C. Check C is a wonderful MSC, monthly stimulus check. Viewers are getting, on average now, 18, 14, and 12 months of checks. It's for rent utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. How do you get that wonderful check C? You become a member. Go into this video, join the channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cow, so you know, VIP. Subscribe, and then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. Go down into where it says check C, and it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Now, remember check C is, for example, rent and utilities. That could be upwards of five checks a month. The average view of this channel is now getting 14 months of these checks. 14 times five checks? Yes, that's a lot of money, folks. That's a lot of money. In the newsletter, there's 12 places to reach out to. So you have 12 times five times 14 months of possibilities. And remember, after 14 months, you're going to go get more checks again. That's what viewers have been doing on this channel. How long have we been getting this money? For purposes of Check C, we've been getting this money since 2020. It actually predates for stimulus. These are some of the success stories. From Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth, go get some rent. Go get Check C. How about utilities? Mark's brother-in-law got 15000 Go get some Check C. Look at these wonderful success stories for utilities. Snap, Mark's brother-in-law is getting a quarter million dollars over 10 years. Then combinations. Nisi got 23000 initially from a combination of Check C's. And then she went to 50000 Mark had gotten 32000 and then he went to what, this, this graphic, 50. Then he went to 100 and then he went to 166. Lorraine, she was at 105 and then she went to 150. What's the commonality of Lorraine, Nisi, Margaret, and Johnny and, and, and Mark? One, they're in all the videos. You want to watch all the videos. Number two, you want to keep on getting checks on a regular basis. What do you need to do? First, go into this video and subscribe. You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel network in America. Now three channels in this broadcasting family. Number two, you want to go into the video and hit that membership link. Join the, the family. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Third, you want to go from this channel and hit the alert button to make sure it's set to all notifications on. And then you want to get that membership newsletter. Go down in it and go get check A, B, and C. Guess what you're also going to get? You're going to get checks E to K. Seven new categories of checks became a law by the President of the United States, became a law by Act of Congress no less than a week ago. And these are seven new categories of checks. We're now up to 10 categories of checks. And let's look at those incredible seven new categories of checks. It's just so exciting. Those seven categories of checks are the following. First, $7,500, check E, check F, 4,000, check G, 30% off, check H, 2,000, check I and J, 8,000 each, and check K, $14,000. Wow. Guess who was speaking about check E's to K yesterday? And I actually tweeted her video. Uh, your secretary, your energy secretary, Granholm, Grisso, I'm, I'm going to pronounce it wrong. I know I'm going to pronounce it wrong. She's a wonderful, she's the energy secretary. She actually appeared on broadcast media, jump on the Twitter account of Allied News, and I have it tweeted, uh, and I'll try to retweet it again today. She basically s talked about checks E to, K, uh, e to K. Of course, E to K are lettering systems on this channel. But what did she say? She said, we're sending you a lot of checks. <laughs> she, that was basically what she said. We're sending you a lot of checks. In this, in this law that became law by Congress, we are. this is how she said it. We're paying you a lot of money. We're paying you for this. We will pay you for that. We will pay you for this. We'll pay you for that. We will pay you for a lot of things. 
if you're low income or middle, if you're low income uh, or, or middle class, generally sometimes it's just low income, we will pay for these items and come and get them because we're paying for them. That's what she said. It. She, she used the word pay a thousand times in that in that two or three sentences she said. And she said, you want this? We'll pay for it. You want this? We'll pay for it. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, it's, it's, it's great news, and it basically shows you how a society has really come together as one. And I'm so proud of you and this family as well. You know, over the last uh, two years as this family has been around, you've learned so well. You've really, really learned so well. And it's, it's, I'm so glad that you have absorbed information. And some of the people in the live chat last night were, were saying, Ella, you've really taught us so much, and I really appreciate it. Uh, it's, it is, here's a commentary. It is really difficult sometimes to deliver the news in a platform like this and see externally that there's so much wrong information out there. There's currently a, an article out by USA Today, and I'm going to name them because it's wrong, that says there's no forced stimulus check. Well, that's wrong, USA Today. There is a forced stimulus check. How are you defining the word stimulus check? Oh, donut guy? The donut guy that stands by the mailbox and looks for $600 for every U.S. American land in mailbox. If that's how you define a stimulus check, yes, there's no $600 forced stimulus check in everyone's mailbox. But the energy secretary appeared on broadcast media yesterday. She said, uh, we just passed this law two weeks ago. And we will pay for this, 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 this. That was her interview yesterday. We're paying you for all these things. That's stimulus. That she's paying you money. And that's forced to most. It's, it's the forced to most package. And it's new. So USA Today, maybe you'd have to go delete that article. Because you're, you're wrong. And sadly, if you type in forced to most check update 2021, that USA article comes up and says there's no forced to most check. It's sad. Uh, there is one... Uh, broadcaster out of the East Coast that ran a story, and then that story kept on reporting that there was there will never be a forced stimulus check. Yeah, there are, <laughs> but ultimately, <laughs> why do I laugh? Because I, I laugh because all those people are not getting it, and you are. <laughs> so we understand what stimulus stampede is. Stimulus stampede is when people compete against the same stimulus, and when people are not competing against you for stimulus, I love it. <laughs> I love it. If all this family has no competition for stimulus, I love it. It's sort of like when golfers join another golfing league. Well, then I don't have to compete against you anymore. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, that's a strange analogy. <laughs> um, it, it was it was great this weekend when LA two and LA three launched, and I posted the the promo trailer videos on Instagram, and on that Instagram feed. Two people jumped in. They're clearly not viewers. <laughs> but one person said, there's no, there's no forced stimulus check in Oklahoma. I said, yeah, there is. I've gotten people in Oklahoma massive sums of money. Uh, it's from the federal government. It doesn't come from your state. Stop thinking about your state sending the money. I, I, I think if I, could get a, if I could get a blimp and put a, 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 a message in the sky, stop thinking of your state paying you money. States never paid the stimulus checks. The stimulus never came from the states. It came from the federal government, unless it was unemployment stimulus. Um, and then another person jumped into the, into, and that person was so happy. And happy. He said, I'm going to watch your show. I, I haven't watched your show lately. I'm going to watch your show. And then another person jumped in and says, Texas is not doing anything for anyone. Uh, yeah, well, Texas doesn't send the money out. It's from the federal government. And my people in Texas are getting massive sums of money. And if you didn't see it, then let me show you what's going on. Over this weekend, the two new channels are broadcasting and join this family. It's just incredible. It's just incredible. LA Late is now a three-channel broadcasting family. LA One, the original baby, launched on April March 25th, 2020. And now LA Two and LA Three launched on August 21st, 2022. It's just so incredible. First, LA Two and LA Three currently have just one show airing, and they're live shows. And they're going to expand the program. The programming, the programming schedule will expand very quickly, very dramatically. But I wanted to start with just one show. Let's look and see what's heating up on LLA3. On LLA3, the show is called Wall Street Live. It airs during the day. It's a live show that goes over the latest details on your money. 
your Wall Street, your recession, your inflation, your Federal Reserve, everything you need to know about your money, you got to watch that show because it's very important to go over the latest impact of your money. Here is LI3. for more.